All right, so let's hop over to Aptana or whatever code editor you're using. And uh, I've already got this uh, opened up. We're going to be looking at the index file here uh, as a reference. We really don't need to change anything in here, uh, at least not off the top of my head. Um, I have our base CSS open, which is more for reference. You don't need to have this open. The, the important thing is having the queries.css open which is in the CSS folder over here. All right, so let's talk about how to write a media query and what it's really doing. Um, if, if you're familiar with PHP or JavaScript or any other programming language, uh, you, you've probably dealt with conditional um, logic like uh, if statements, where you ask a question and depending on the answer, you do something. Or if it's not the answer you want, you do something else. Um, and that's what we're doing here. We're asking if the browser or really the viewport, so not necessarily just the browser, but um, you know, if you're on your phone, uh, a tablet, whatever, whatever the size of the screen is or the, the area of the, that the web page is being loaded in is what we're, we're querying. So to start a media query, we use the at symbol followed by the word media. And depending on your um, IDE or text editor, or whatever, you may get some weird color coding. Um, I, I find it kind of hit or miss with uh, different uh, editors. But uh, so you've got your media. And then the condition here. And then what you're going to do if it does match that condition. So we've got an option here. The media, we can, we can fine tune it to what media type. So there's a, there's a long list of media types. And actually, if we pull up the W3Schools website, you can see these media types here. Now, most of these are depreciated. And uh, unless you're going into something special like uh, um, for accessibility uh, with like screen readers and such like that, the main ones you're going to be looking at are screen all right, screen and uh, print. And those are the ones that we're going to be looking at. But many of these uh, concepts we're going to go over would work for the other uh, media types out there. All right, so we'll pick our media type, be screen, and then we're going to add a condition in here. So and, and then our condition goes here in the, uh, the parentheses. And just to be, make it simple, we'll do max with 500 pixels. So pretty much if the viewport is anywhere from zero to 500 pixels, this rule applies, or these rules for that matter. Because that's the neat thing about media queries, you can set a whole bunch of different rules in here that only apply to this scenario. Do an example here. You notice on our, on our HTML page here, I, I haven't given any IDs except for this main div here. So we're pretty much going to only be referencing the actual HTML element. And since there's only one image, and, and I tried to make it pretty much so we only had one element type, um, you know, one list, one image, one paragraph, one table, uh, to keep it simple. So let's go in here and make our first rule. So image. And this is just like writing any other uh, CSS rule. Just keep it inside the uh, curly brackets here. Do display none. So we save that. Hop over here to our page. I'm going to refresh and uh, keep uh, keep an eye on our viewport width here. I'm going to speed it along so we're get pretty close. And uh, if you notice, these are these divs are just floated to the left, so they're just going to start kind of falling next to each other as the screen gets smaller. We're pretty close here. We're about to hit 500, boom. So anything under 500, that image is gone. Now I'll note now that uh, most of the examples I'm giving are not going to be, they're less real world examples like how should you set your page up uh, and more just how to use the tools that are available. Because it's really up to you um, how you set your page up. You just really need to know the tools. So. Uh, and 
like I mentioned, you can do more than one rule in here. You can do as many rules as you want. So, you know, let's say I'm going to copy this rule over here from 12 to 14 here. And that's our base rule for the second child. And I'm just going to tweak these numbers a little bit. 255 and we'll bring the opacity up. And save that. All right, now I'm going to refresh our page. All right, everything's still the same. And let's go back down to 500. And we should see the image disappear and the color of that div change. See? Image is gone. This div changed. So you can see what um, you can do here. You can add as many rules, any type of CSS that you're used to doing, you can build inside these media queries. And not only can you put as many rules in here, but you can make as many queries as you want. Now, you have to use some logic to not overlap your queries in the sense of setting up the same conditions or similar conditions, you're going to override some things. But we're going to keep doing some more examples here.